Hey guys, real quick before we jump into the video, I just wanted to let you know that my cookbook is finally on sale for pre-order on Amazon. So I will have all of the links down below. I've also been answering questions on Instagram, so make sure to follow me over there. And once again, thank you for all your support. It means a lot to me. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I thought I would vlog today because I took the day off work to get some things done around the house. So you can just come along with me and see how productive I can be. Uh, right now it is 7.20 and um, I unfortunately woke up a little bit late. So <laughs> seems like Connor's already up. I need to uh, make sure the kids are up and getting ready for school and pack their lunches and get them on the bus. So the kids are off to school. I am going to make myself some coffee. I'm making it up here because I bought these K-Cups at Hy-Vee the other day and they smell, oh my God. If you like macadamia nut, here's what they are. Kawaii, Kawaii coffee, vanilla macadamia nut. Really, really good. I wish they were a little bit stronger, like more, like the coffee was more bold. They're super good. So my original plan was just to take today off so that I could scrapbook, but I actually have too many things to <laughs> get done like around the house and for YouTube to do that. So I don't know that I'm going to get anything done today besides organizing some scrapbooking things. But the main thing that I want to do is finish sort of organizing at my office from the mess that it's in it gets in this state of a mess all the time because i feel like i constantly have stuff coming in like from my p.o box from youtube from whatever <laughs> and then i just don't like keep up with putting stuff away so like last night i sat in here for several hours and wrote thank you notes for the gifts and the cards that I opened up the other day so I was actually happy that I got a bunch of that stuff done so that's one thing I can do today is get those stamped and take them to the post office but also my spin bike is being delivered today sometime between 8 and noon so supposedly they're gonna call me whenever they are like 30 minutes out but I told you guys in a video before that I ordered a Equinox Plus Soul Cycle, and so the ordering process was like super easy. I just like, as soon as I ordered it and paid for it, they sent me an email asking, you know, what day they could deliver, what time, blah, blah, blah. I filled it out. Allegedly, they will just bring it in and put it together. So I just ha need to have a space cleared for it is what I'm gonna focus on this morning. Okay, so this is the space I need to clean up right here. So I'm gonna do that quick. All right, it is done. So I'm thinking I have some laundry over there I need to fold, but I'm thinking what I'm going to have them do is obviously put the bike right here, but maybe face this way so I can see out the window too. Um, I'm not 100%. Then I also thought about maybe angling it this way. So I don't know. We'll see. I assume that it's, I know it's got wheels on it. I assume that once it's put together, I can move it around the way that I want it. Murphy is supervising. He's like, please fold the laundry so I can lay on the couch. Okay, so I finished up doing some things in my office. I had some things I needed to do on the computer. I had to order some things for a video that I am filming this weekend, so I had to make sure that they arrived in time. And I'm just gonna get ready right now. It is about 10.20. 
and I have not heard from the delivery company yet so we'll see we'll see if they come on time it's not a huge deal because obviously I'm gonna be home all day well I mean pretty much someone is home <laughs> all the time now you know Adam's working from home most of the time even if it's later today that's fine but I do need to go run some errands I need to obviously run to the post office I need to run to the bank and I need to take something to the dry cleaners so if they don't come by noon I'll probably go run and do those um, things quick and I guess if they need in Adam's here whatever <laughs> he's working today though all right I'm ready I just I feel so much better when I get ready. I just don't feel like a hot mess, even if I like have literally nothing to do today except chores <laughs> around the house. Uh, okay, so what am I gonna do now? I think I need to eat something. It's 10.45 and I've just had coffee this morning, so I'm gonna see what I can get to eat. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do today is combine my, ooh, I dropped that, combine my breakfast and lunch. So I got these pretzel buns at Hy-Vee and i'm sure they're super low calorie <laughs> kidding but i had this pretzel sandwich from aldi when was it last week i think oh my god it was so good i'm like i need to recreate that so i'm gonna put some a uh, dijon is this dijon yeah from thrive and then i have this ham I'm gonna use my new favorite cheese, Cracker Barrel, California smoked provolone. You get some. Put that on there. I'm gonna warm this up in the microwave for probably about 40 seconds just to get it melty and the bun hot. Pretzel buns are like delicious, which is why I rarely buy them. <laughs> But with ham and cheese, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, so I was just cleaning out some of my condiments in the fridge. And my friend Leah that lives in Louisville sent me some of this Kentucky dill mix. It's like a dip and dressing uh, mix. So I made this per the directions on the package for the dip. So it's one cup mayo, one cup sour cream lemon juice and three tablespoons of the dill mix. So I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and we can have this as a dip for veggies this week. And then one of you guys also sent me a brown sugar bear. So I read the package, I've never had one of these before. And it says you're supposed to soak it in water for 30 minutes and then you can put it in your brown sugar it will keep it soft for one month when I said one month I meant three months because that's what it says on the package so um put this stuff back I'm still kind of trying to decide how I feel about the organization containers like I like them I just feel like they take up a lot of space um in the fridge but maybe also i need to get rid of some of my condiments i mean that's probably part of the problem too and also have you guys seen this pepsi zero mango i don't know i saw it at hy-vee and i was like oh i'll try it i mean it's okay we're drinking it but i don't i don't think i would buy it again it's kind of a weird weird combination all right it is here so i'm gonna read the manual and see what i need to do to get it like plugged in and connected to wi-fi and everything but it's less, like it takes up less space than I thought it would. So cool. Okay, so, so far this has been super easy to set up. All right, so I got my bike all set up. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Well, actually, I don't know what I thought. Like I knew they were gonna come in and set it up, but I didn't know as far as like connecting it to the Wi-Fi, my account and everything, but uh, I think I got everything figured out. I already had my cycling shoes, so that actually makes like a world of difference. Like when I've gone to 
spin class before at the gym. I never had like proper shoes. I'm sorry, I have a breakout right here going on. I don't know, just, I'm just gonna put my hand like this <laughs> all the time. Um, but anyway, whenever I would go to the gym, I would just wear regular tennis shoes. So I think that the shoes that can clip into the pedals make like a world of difference. I didn't do like a whole workout, but I just like practiced on it a little bit. So hopefully I can do one tonight. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure as soon as the kids come home from school, well, Connor especially, he's gonna wanna get on it and ride it, which I don't care. I mean, I'll have to help him adjust the seat and everything, but. Anyway, so right now I'm in the drive through at Starbucks. I'm gonna get a coffee. I need to go to the bank. I need to drop off some things at the post office. I need to go to Walgreens and pick up some meds and a few other things. So that's what I'm gonna do now, go run errands. It is 2.25, um, so pretty happy with what I've gotten accomplished so far today on my uh, day off work. And then for dinner tonight, I think I'm just gonna heat up chili and maybe make some baked potatoes and i also have some jalapeno poppers that i prepped in the fridge so all i have to do is pop those into the oven um the kids probably won't eat the jalapeno poppers connor likes chili kira likes chili sometimes but at least if i make the baked potatoes on the side then she can have that and something else i don't know we'll figure it out all right i forgot i wanted to go to goodwill too so it's always a good day when you uh when you can take your stuff directly to Goodwill and not drive around with it in the back of your car for two weeks, right? Does anyone else do that or is that just me? So I went to Walgreens, I went to the bank, I went to the post office. Uh, where else did I go? I don't know, I feel like I'm checking everything off. What do I need to do now? Oh, I need to drop off some pulled pork that Adam made to some of our family members because he made two huge pork butts. So I need to drop that off with them and then I think I'm done and I can go home and uh, see what else I need to do there. Okay, so this is the chili that I meal prepped this weekend. I just went ahead and left it in the Instant Pot insert and refrigerated it that way. So I'm gonna heat it back up in the Instant Pot, but then I put the rest of it in my Super Cubes here. So I'm gonna freeze this because we're obviously not gonna eat that whole batch of chili right now tonight. And then we can have this for like lunches and stuff later. Okay, and then the other thing I'm gonna make is this cornbread mix that my friend Leah sent me from Kentucky. I think it probably only makes about five or six muffins. And then I'm also going to cook up these jalapeno poppers that I prepped this weekend. Okay, so I've never tried to make these before. But I've seen where people boil the little potatoes and then they smash them on a baking tray and then you roast them in the oven until they're crispy. So we're going to see how this works. I've never made them. I'll link the recipe I used down below, which isn't really a recipe. Boil potatoes, smash them, put some garlic, olive oil, salt, roast them in the oven. All right, so here's the corn muffins. The potatoes look delicious. Jalapeno poppers. I made some baked chicken and we got the chili over here. All right, so it's later now, it's 9.30 and uh, I just got the kitchen cleaned up or as cleaned up as it's gonna get. Load the dishwasher, put all the food away. The rest of the dishes in here are stuff that needs to soak, like my Instant Pot 9 by 13 pan, stuff like that. So I'll probably take care of that in the morning, uh, but I'm gonna get the kids in bed or make sure they're in bed. Then I think we're gonna go for a ride on the old bike. I didn't die and um, that was fun so here's the thing is that I think these dips in here were because the Wi-Fi was going out like the video kept pausing and stuff 
So I don't know. I mean, it's 10 o'clock here right now, so it's like prime time for all, everyone to be using the internet. And I'm like the furthest away from the router upstairs. So but anyway, it was good, good songs. That was fun, dare I say. So I feel that that was a little more exertion than I thought it was gonna be, but also I'm like super out of shape right now. <laughs> like, I mean, I would say on a scale from zero being the most out of shape to 10 being the best shape, I'm probably a, probably a three or a four, but the good thing about exercising and what I've found in the past is that if you do it consistently, it doesn't take you that long to feel your endurance improving again. Like the times that I've exercised consistently, I would say like by the end of two weeks as I'm consistently doing it, sorry, my glasses are fogging up. I feel like I can go more, longer, faster, whatever the case is, so. That's what she said. Ha! I don't get it. You just have to keep at it. But anyway, uh, that was good. I'm looking forward to using that more because I feel, I almost feel I like this better than going to spin class at the gym. Well, first of all, because I have the clip-in shoes and I guess I didn't really know that when I've gone to spin classes at the gym before because I always just wore my regular tennis shoes but having the clip-in shoes um, for the pedals makes like a ton of difference like it makes it a lot better like you're able to like stand up on the bike and not feel like you're gonna <laughs> fall out or whatever um, and I posted on Instagram tonight that I got this delivered today and I got some DMs asking about it and stuff and they're like well oh you know you what are you doing? Well, you need to get in bed. Good night, I love you. So I posted on Instagram tonight that I got it delivered today and blah, blah, blah. Cause I just, I just posted the video today too that I did that was sponsored by Equinox Plus. Um, but anyway, yes, I did a sponsored video with them, but I did not get sent the bike for free. I had to pay for it <laughs> with my own money. So I just want you to know that if I talk about it in the future, like, Yes, they may be sponsoring the video, but as for like the purchase of the spin bike, I purchased that myself. Like I, I paid my own money for it. I didn't get it for free. So anyway, not like it matters that much, but I know some people that can like sway their opinion because they're like, well, if you got it for free, of course you're gonna talk, talk well about it. But anyway, the test is whether or not I can use it consistently. So that is my plan. Anyway, I'm gonna work on the computer for a little bit and then I'll share it with you my um, to-do list, which I made earlier and forgot to share. All right, so here's the um, list that I had made earlier today. So, got the bike delivered, cleaned my office. I wanted to work on some thank you notes. I did do a few, but not a bunch. Easter baskets, I did not do anything with that. <laughs> I had to mail a check, I did that. I wanted to do some content planning. I didn't really get that done. I wanted to clean some more off my desk. I didn't really get that done. I did mail the letters. I need to film a try on haul. I have not done that yet. I'll probably have to do it this weekend. I need to work on some blog content and um, watch a video on how to do some of this stuff. Edit two videos. Nope. I did do the bank. Mark. I didn't get that done. There's some receipts. So, I mean, overall, I had a very ambitious to-do list, which <laughs> I totally knew that, but I kind of wanted to just do a brain dump also, but I did get a lot of things done, so that's good. So, I'm downstairs. I had to come down and have a snack of Triscuits, but uh, I am looking through, or I have been looking through, which, by the way, Adam made pulled pork the other night, and he got grease all over my counter and I'm not happy about it. Not last year, but the year before, I posted a bunch of vintage cooking videos. I had so much fun doing those and I don't know why I stopped because there's, so, like I said, there's so much fun, but these are a couple of the cookbooks I have. This Good Housekeeping cookbook is from 1973 um, and I was thinking about doing another vintage cooking video, either a meal or a full day of cooking. I'm not sure yet. This is the continental beef steak. 
I love looking through these cookbooks. They're so cool. These are uh, cheese stuffed bread, beefy vegetable soup, and corn sticks. Of course, they have the lovely jello mold recipes in here too. This is steak and kidney pie. Oh, and right across from that, if you want to know how to cook brains, brains au beurre noir. Doesn't that mean black butter? Or brown butter, maybe. Beer is butter, I know that. I did take three years of French once upon a time, but it's been a very long time since I took French. Here we go. Crab Imperial Chicken Perigord style. Actually, that doesn't look half bad, honestly. Chiopino, which is like a seafood stew. This is what I was thinking about making. Where's my, where's my folded over page marker? Chicken a la king. That's a very vintage recipe, I think. Of course, this calls to make your own puff pastry patty shells. I don't know how I feel <laughs> about that. I mean, I could try. I'd probably spend all day doing it, or I could just buy the, you know, puff pastry. Orange spinach salad. Puffy omelet with fillings. Yeah, the kids thought it was super fun when I did the vintage meals. Refrigerator rolls, those look good. Jelly donuts. I mean, I would eat those, but oh my God, you can't do how long those would take to make homemade yeast donuts. I don't, I think I've made homemade yeast donuts once in my life. Oh, that looks good. Better sweet chocolate cake. I mean, that would be delicious. I saw this too. Deluxe cheesecake. Or I could go with the turkey melon gelatin mold. Homemade strawberry ice cream. All the cookies look good too. This is the funniest one. This Betty Crocker hostess cookbook. This is from 1967. Of course, it's very, you know, a handbook for the hostess because obviously men may not host a dinner party. It's only women. If you're like most women, giving a party means many things to you. It provides an opportunity to entertain a close friends. This is so funny. It's talking about like how to sit people at the party. Some of the most successful parties bring very unlikely people together. Two persons or two couples that you have sworn would have nothing in common strike up a surprisingly enthusiastic acquaintance. A young bachelor for whom you have thoughtfully provided a pretty girl spends his whole evening in fascinated conversation with your husband's middle-aged cousin. So funny. Anyway, what did I mark in here? I forget. Here's the cheese chart. If you need that. Swiss treat. Oh, here we go. We throw the dinner party. Cheese fondue, tossed green salad, classic French dressing, pears au chocolat, sugar wafers, coffee or tea. Hmm. I mean, I would eat some cheese fondue for sure. Look at that. Olive surprise roast. Now there, I'm, I'm down for this. Cheesy potato casserole. And you use instant mashed potatoes. Boom. Vichy soie. Do you guys know what Vichy soie is? It is a, uh, a soup. But I forget. I thought it was with celery. It must be just potato soup. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spouting off the cuff here. Chantilly cake. Regal roast dinner. I just love this. Ham buffets. Are you guys doing anything for Easter? I don't think we are. 
Bright little brunches and lunches. A party at midday offers a change of pace from evening entertaining, and a brunch or lunch has charms quite different from those of a dinner party. In case you didn't know what brunch is, as the name implies, it's a combination of breakfast and lunch. That's so funny. Anyway, I'm sure you guys aren't half bored by now. Look, there's a pancake party. Connor would love that. He'd be like, can we have a pancake party every day? Club luncheon. Golden shrimp puff. Fresh fruit salad with limeade dressing, toasted snack rye, chocolate mint parfaits, salted nuts, and tea. Sounds like I'm reading a school menu, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, so funny. Yeah, I gotta do another one of these videos soon. All right, guys, well, I think I'm gonna go take a shower and hit the hay for the night. It is about 11.30, so so much for me going to bed earlier but anyway thanks for spending the day with me today i uh, had a good day off got a lot accomplished but it's back to work tomorrow so thanks again for watching and for your support and i'll see you in my next video bye